Hi, welcome back to Motor Performance. I'm Mike behind the camera is Jay. Today we're in our detailing bay. The reason why we're here is we had Martin in yesterday to C5 ceramic coat my tailpipes. That's right. These are going for chrome on a black 440i, so that should cause some controversy. Below is the Remus system for the M340i and the 440i. This is actually the sport system. It's not the louder one, that's coming a bit later in the year, but this is my daily car and we as a sort of company, me, Jay, Nick, and everyone else off the camera have been talking. Potentially the M340s and the 440s, you want a bit more noise from them, but you don't want it to be too loud. So maybe the sport system, because it's available now, is the better system out of the two. When the race comes, maybe we'll swap it out to see what we think. But first of all, we're going to be changing out the original stock system for the Remus uh, sport system. The original system is a single valve, um, where the Remus is twin, very similar to what they do on the M2, so we'll hijack off the first valve, so when it's obviously the valves are open, should be a lot more uh, sort of a deeper tone to it. When the valves are closed, should be pretty similar to sort of stock levels now. Um, never fitted one. Remus haven't done one, well they have done one, but they haven't released any videos of it yet, so we're all interested to see what it sounds like, so um, let's get it fitted. <laughs> So, exhaust all done. This, yet again, just to state, is the Remus Sport System. They are doing a race one later on. But what Remus are pretty good at doing is working out their clientele. What I mean by that is, I'm sure most 440i and 340i customers don't really want anything to be massively loud. They just want something to be factory plus plus. So, this is what this is. I drove it home last night, Saturday the day after we had it fitted. And it's enough to notice, it's enough to sound sporty and make it a bit more of an M light. All these new cars are just so restricted now by emissions and OPF filters. This is a system that keeps all that in place and it just gives you that bit more. It's not about being the loudest on this particular car or being the lowest or the fastest, it's just that OEM plus. Now I've said in a previous video, I'm not a fan of that sort of factory looking tower pipe. I think it makes it look too much like an Audi diesel or a Skoda VRS. There's nothing wrong with them. This is an M light. <clears throat> now a lot of people, obviously when you say you're going to fit a quad exhaust to a non-M car, people think it's going to be in the middle and it makes it look like an M4. Ringless have actually used the existing gap, so it's actually further away. An M4 one would be more in the middle, in line with the number plate, this is further away. I actually think it makes it look a bit more Alpina, which is quite a good look. Um, I went for the chrome tower pipe on this one because I wanted something to be seen as well. I wanted something to look like it's got a bit of detail to it. I love the black tower pipes on the 135 it works really, really well. But on this, I just wanted to add a little bit more detail just to sort of break it out from the norm. Like I said, the factory tower pipes are a bit too dark, they're a bit lost. The fuse is still a little bit weak. You could do something just a little bit more plus again, so hopefully we'll be able to work on that just to go along with the tower pipes. But let us know so far what you think of the, the progress of the M440i. I think we're going to be fitting a tuning box next to it, potentially a fit to whether that's a video or not, I don't necessarily know. But first of all, let us know what you think of this.